I'm not gonna lie, this year was some hot and I think by the time I got to the second to last series here in Detroit, I realized that I'm going to take my 0.1% chance of making playoffs and just enjoy my job. You see, this year was nothing short of miserable for me. I don't need to go into details, but let's just say I received a diagnosis for mental state that I'm now going to therapy for. After a couple sessions, one of the many things I'm struggling with is that I'm too caught up in things in the past and not being present. So here in Detroit, I'm working on two things, being present and getting outside. I know that's crazy, especially coming from someone who was extremely active as recent as this spring training. But unless I go out to help with infield pregame, sometimes I don't even make it outside. So why not enjoy a run on the field of the team that's going to shit all over you? But this is good. Baby steps. Got smoked by Detroit, but I improved myself. So who really won here, huh? Let's just try to be present in Boston too. Crazy that there's only three games left in this whole year. I mean, it just flies by. You know, it kind of just reminds me of my game in bed. This series is really going to be odd, you know. Advance is a big part of my job, and we don't have anyone after the series. Usually there's a couple teams we're preparing for, depending on how the end of the season shakes out. But right now, like, there's, like, nothing for me to do. It's great, because hopefully I get to enjoy this trip and enjoy this job. Probably how I should this whole year. So that will be the goal of this trip to enjoy bro look at look at these clouds those clouds are sick thanks ripley oh, i have a stop me oh every day every night i'm so This series was weird because we didn't have work, no next team to advance for, yet somehow I was still busy as funny enough. This gave me some time to think about this year, think about how everything unfolded and hopefully how things can change next year. In some ways, I feel like I took 20 steps back in life, professionally, mentally, physically, in every literal way. I don't feel good, I don't feel happy, but the weird thing is, I don't really know what I feel. I think I'm just lost. People are just taking advantage of me, but I'm just letting it happen. Too much is going on for me to get my thoughts together and come to a cohesive decision. I'm reacting emotionally and that's a dangerous place to be. At the very least, I have this for now. This as in being able to walk into Fenway and take in its beauty. I know it's no Tropicana field or anything, but I do know that no one is here to gaslight me or show me how much they're trying to use me. I'm sure you can all tell that I have not been well, and that's what I'm going to focus on this offseason with three things. One is my fitness. Get back into a routine, start lifting and running again. Two is being present. I'll be with my girlfriend and family that I've barely gone to see the past nine months. So it's time to get off my damn phone and just be present. It's kind of hard with my ADHD, but that's another story. And three, just document everything. It's something I always stop doing during the year, but this is me. I like doing this and I want to do this and no job or person should stop me from doing what I want to do. Well, within reason, of course. 
this place. One of my favorites. 